Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to become a participant of the Windows Insider program for Windows 10. You will learn how to quickly register a Microsoft account with the Windows Insider program, how to receive new builds of Windows, install and test them, and how to submit your reviews and reports on the new developments introduced by Microsoft. Such feedback helps the developers to assess if certain things need to be introduced and how convenient the new functions and developments are for those using this operating system. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Initially, getting inside this program was quite difficult and almost impossible for an average Windows user. This option was available only to some major software developers. However, after Windows 10 was released officially, Microsoft decided to open this opportunity for everyone willing so that to get more feedback coverage for the planned changes in this operating system. So, what is Windows Insider program? This preview program was specially developed and implemented in Windows 10 to ensure that numerous standard software and SDK developers are well informed of the future changes in the operating system, new features and all kinds of enhancement introduced to the existing functions and system libraries. The main idea behind this program is to establish a proper feedback channel between third-party software developers and the Microsoft team. This opportunity is equally useful for programmers, average users, and the operating system itself. It includes three levels of access, known as rings. The Early Access Ring – Fast, Late Access Ring – Slow, and the Release Preview Ring. The names refer directly to how often you can download special test builds of the operating system – Windows 10 – Insider Preview and the level of access also defines additional aspects in stability of such builds. Every ring has a certain audience, the fast ring having a very limited circle of participants, and on the contrary, the release preview actually includes all the subscribers of this program. Every new pre-release build has to undergo all stages of automatic testing for operability at the Microsoft Labs. It may contain new SDK apps, updated DLL libraries, additional functions, and all kinds of enhancements. If the new build passes the laboratory tests, it becomes immediately available to the early access members, that is, the Fast Ring. The Fast Ring community will test it, submit feedback with Microsoft implementing some improvements if necessary, and if things get better, the new build becomes available to the Slow Ring members. Once again, Microsoft receives community feedback, collects user experience, introduces certain improvements, and if the build becomes quite stable, it is now available for the release preview ring. This cycle continues until an official operating system update is rolled out. The Early Access Ring – Fast Its primary advantage is the earliest access to new builds. The Fast Ring members are the first category within the Windows Insider program to download them. It means they will be the first people to see and test new apps, check out the changes in the operating system interface, analyze the new functions, submit feedback, and so on. At the same time, they should be prepared to face all kinds of bugs and glitches. Pre-release builds may contain lots of errors, have serious stability issues, and suffer from critical failures or even crashes. After you download and install such a build, your operating system may work incorrectly or even refuse to boot at all. So, if you are going to join the early access level, be ready for whatever comes. If things get from bad to worse, it's better to try rolling the operating system back or running Windows Automatic Recovery and, of course, report this problem in your review. If nothing helps, well, there is always the last resort – just reinstall your Windows. The late access ring – slow. In this ring, you benefit from pre-release builds being considerably more stable and you still get them ahead of the major part of the insider community. While the new builds were being tested in the fast ring, Microsoft engineers have collected enough feedback to analyze it and improve the builds, which means that the majority of critical errors have been fixed and the most painful bugs have been removed. 
Therefore, these builds are much safer to use, though the minor risk of having to reinstall the system still remains. The Release Preview Ring The most prominent advantage of this ring is that you get absolutely safe builds you can use. That is, they come with the latest system updates, properly working SDK apps and drivers, and all of that before an official Windows 10 update is announced. Generally, pre-released builds in this ring are available just several days before the official update is presented. Moving from one ring to another is very easy. You can find this option here – Settings, Update and Security, Windows inside the program. All right, let's see how to join this program. In the end, I will also show you how to get out of it, if necessary. Windows 10 user account. The first thing you need is a Microsoft account. In fact, any account will do as long as you have it registered with a Microsoft service such as Outlook, Skype, OneDrive, Xbox Live or Bing and MSN search engines. If you don't have such an account yet, it's time to create one. You need to visit the Microsoft website, and you can find the link in the description. Click to sign in your Microsoft account. In the Sign in page, click on the link Create One, then enter your email address or phone number. Enter the password and click Next. A message containing a confirmation code will be sent to the email address that you have given. Enter the code and click Next. Fill in all required fields. Here is an important thing to remember. It is recommended to type your name and surname in English. Otherwise, the system may not allow you to download official insider builds from the Microsoft website. Sometimes it, sometimes it happens, so it is better to be on the safe side. If you have an account already, you can change its name and surname anytime. After you have installed your first test build on your PC, there is no way to reset your operating system. To remove the pre-release updates, you will have to reinstall it as the only measure. As soon as you join the Insider program, be prepared to see updates coming quite often, sometimes even daily. Link in the Microsoft account to the operating system. Now let's link your Microsoft account to the Windows operating system your computer is running. Open Start – Settings – Accounts. In the tab Your Info, click on the link Sign in with a Microsoft account instead. Enter your login and password and click Sign in. If necessary, create a special PIN to quickly sign in to Windows 10. Your account will be checked and then linked to the operating system. So now, after restarting, you will need to sign in with your Microsoft account instead of the local account you use every day. Joining the Windows 10 Insider program Let's join the Windows Insider program now. Click Start – Settings – Update and Security. Then go to the tab Windows Insider program and click on Get Started. The dialog to link your Microsoft account to the program will appear. Choose your account and click Continue. At the next step, choose what kind of content you would like to receive. Active development of Windows – recommended. It means you will get preview builds regularly depending on the ring you choose – fast or slow. Just fixes, apps and drivers. This option is similar to the release preview ring. You will get inside our builds as soon as the new version is considered complete. 
Choose the one that suits you best and confirm your choice. At the next stage, what pays do you want to receive preview bills? Use the drop-down menu to select fast or slow. Slow. You will get preview bills with the latest features, apps and operating system changes with minimal risks of coming across bugs and significant problems. Fast, which is recommended, you will get preview bills with the latest features, apps and operating system changes, but these updates have not been tested yet. In other words, after their installation, you are likely to face errors, uh, features may not work properly, and there may be other issues, even as bad as your Windows not working at all. After that, read and confirm the Microsoft Insider privacy statement. Now the last step – restart your computer. Once you completed all these steps, your device will be enrolled in the Windows Insider program, and within the next 24 hours it will start receiving preview bills depending on the settings you have selected. After joining the program, new builds will download and install automatically. To force the download, you can always open Settings, Update and Security, Windows Update and click on the Check for Updates button. How to get out of the Windows Insider program? If you no longer want to participate in the Windows Insider program, you can opt out of it. If that's your choice, go to Settings, Update and Security, click on the tab Windows Insider program and choose Stop Insider Preview Bills. Scroll down to select the option that you want to use to leave this program. Stop Insider Builds completely. You will no longer receive any future bills. It is also recommended to open settings and enable recovery options so that you can roll back the operating system automatically. When you go through these steps, you'll no longer be able to test upcoming features, but your device will be back to the most stable release of Windows it had. After you get out of the Windows Insider program, I strongly recommend starting fresh with a clean installation of the operating system, as your computer may still have certain issues after leaving the Insider program. And that is all for now. I hope you find this video useful. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!